what's up guys, my name is Kenny and welcome to Fobology Episode 1. In this video, I'm going to go over the basic fob mechanics for new players. Fob stands for Forward Operating Base. Fobs are the heart and soul of a squad match. At its core, fobs provide a spawn point for your entire team to spawn in and rearm. While there is no limit to the number of fobs you can have on a particular map, they are limited by a 300 meter radio radius. That is, you cannot have two radios within 300 meters of each other. I recommend you turn on your viewing fob radii by clicking caps menu, settings wheel at the top right, second button from the top. This will show you the 300 meter radio radius and 150 meter build radius on your map for every fob that is placed. The 150 meter build radius, the blue one, is the limit to which you can place any emplacement such as a hab, ammo crate, sandbag, or MG bunker. Placing a radio requires that you have a squad leader kit, one friendly teammate near you, a lodgy or a helicopter within 30 meters, and that you're outside 300 meters of any other friendly radio already placed. As of the latest V2 update, you can still place a radio with a lead crewman or lead pilot role, however you need three friendlies near you instead of just one. Once you meet these conditions, the radio highlight outline, as you're preparing to place it, will turn from yellow to green. Once a radio is placed and you're inside the blue 150 meter radius, you will see at the top left of your screen a radio health bar, your current fob supplies, and your spawn status. The spawn will become active once you've placed the hab and your friendlies have shoveled it up, and as of V2 update, you will now need to wait a 10 second cooldown once it's shoveled up. The radio health bar is a way of indicating the enemies are destroying your fob by either shoveling it down or destroying it with explosives. The radio health bar is a three level indicator. Blue indicates that your radio is healthy enough to have an active spawn. Yellow means your radio is not healthy enough to have an active spawn and it needs to be shoveled up. Red means that your radio is bleeding out. and You have 60 seconds to return to it with a shovel get it back to health before bleeding out. Once it bleeds out, it's dead. You have lost all the supplies on the fob, as well as 10 tickets. Note, you can shovel down your own radio without losing tickets, but you do need to shovel it down. If you use explosives, you will lose tickets still. Tech structures and weapons will disappear once the fob bleeds out, however any fortifications such as sandbags or HESCO walls will remain. Aside from the radio health, the spawn can also become inactive by two enemies proxying the hab within 20 meters or by shoveling the top off the hab. If the top is shoveled off the hab, the map will indicate this by showing the hab as white instead of yellow on the map. If the hab appears red with an X through it on the map, that is either because it is being proxied by two enemies within 20 meters or the radio is damaged to the yellow phase. Here's a quick summary of the HAB spawn status indicators you would see on your map. Aside from checking your map closely, when you see a radio you should be able to tell whether it's friendly or enemy by the visual of it alone. The US, British, and Canadian factions have a radio that appears like the one on the left, while the Russian and MEA have a radio that looks like the one on the right. The militia and insurgents have a radio that appears like this with the three barrels. They all each have comms audio in their respective languages. In order to supply and resupply your FOB, you will need to bring your Lodgy or helicopter within the blue 150 meter build radius, come to a stop or a hover, and drop your supplies. Note in a helicopter, if you're going to drop supplies while hovering, you need to be under an altitude of 30 meters. If you're moving too fast in either a Hilo or a Lodgy, that will prevent you from dropping supplies as well. Alright guys, well that's about all I wanted to cover for this beginner's guide for FOB mechanics. If you're new to squad, it can be a little bit overwhelming as there's a lot of things going on during a match. So I hope this was helpful for the new guys still trying to learn the basics. I also recommend if you're new, you go through the 20 minute tutorial that the game will suggest you do when you first fire it up. Lastly, this game is all about comms, so there's no shame in asking for help. If you have questions, throw them out there to your teammates and squad mates. And I think you'll be surprised just how helpful your teammates can be and how much you can learn just talking to people. That's it for me guys. Thanks for watching.